This is video three in our three-part series where I'm addressing the question, which is better, term, whole life, or the different types of universal life? And the short answer to this question remains, it depends. In today's video, we'll explain universal life, the second type of permanent cash value life insurance products in today's marketplace. If we were to compare the two major types of permanent life insurance products to flavors of ice cream, I would tell you that whole life is most like vanilla. And while this may sound like a critique, it is not. The whole life product of today has evolved over almost two centuries of existence. Its vanilla flavor is more dynamic than ever, and it can be tailored to different audiences and to the pocketbooks of the modern consumer. The universal life products of today are more like Neapolitan flavors of vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. These products have many moving parts, fees, and expenses, which are all disclosed to the buyer, which make it different than whole life. Universal life has premium flexibility, which makes it appealing to its many types of buyers, but particularly companies. While premium flexibility definitely can be a positive, it can also be a negative to these policies if the payments are missed or if the policy is underfunded. One warning, there are several flavors of universal life that have been introduced recently, which are frankly rocky road and are just not as great, nor do we have sufficient track record to prove they will hold up as they're being advertised. So there are two major types of universal life sold today. You have general account products and you have separate account products. By general account products, what I mean is that the premiums that you pay are managed by them, the carrier, and that your monies are left in their general accounts of the life insurance company. The interest rate on the cash value is set by the insurance company and it can vary over time. When I was referring earlier to a Rocky Road flavor, there are now several general account universal life products called indexed universal life. In these policies, the company will credit a product's cash value based off certain predetermined market index returns of, say, the S&P 500 index. And while these may sound like securities or investments, they are not. They are frequently and falsely marketed as having investment-like returns with an unwritten message that the consumer and the purchaser of this new product is somehow superior. And our advice is simple. Buyer beware. Read the fine print. Now back to the Universal Life separate account product. This is one where you pay the insurance carrier your premiums. Then, just like general account Universal Life, the cost of insurance, fees, and other expenses are deducted. And what's different is that after your fees and expenses are deducted, the remaining sums are invested by the policy owner into separate accounts. These separate accounts are investments, and the policy owner can design them to suit their risk tolerance. Separate account products are sold by prospectus, which means that they're registered securities, and they're often mutual funds and exchange traded funds. For both of these major types of universal life, each provides a death benefit that's typically tax-free. Policy owners have flexibility and premiums they can pay. There are certain minimums and there are certain maximums that are set by an insurance company that the policy owner must be aware of. Just like whole life insurance, the cash value in universal life policies accumulates on a tax-deferred basis, meaning you don't pay taxes on your earnings, and if you wish to access cash value to your policy, you can do so in several tax-preferred ways. Finally, both types of universal life policies available today do have products that provide guarantees of death benefit up to certain ages. Well, this finishes our three-part series. We are here as an independent resource with over four decades of experience in helping families and business says with insurance decisions. If you're reviewing your existing policies or you're considering acquiring more insurance, we'd love to have a conversation. Please reach out to us. Thanks for tuning in.